I'm here at my off-grid cabin. We're up in the mountains. There are no neighbors anywhere close by. We have our own little haven here. We're very blessed to have this, but it gets really hot in here during the summer. And then during the winter, we completely heat this place with our propane gas stove. So in the past, I've just been stuck with using ceiling fans and box fans in order to blow air around to kind of cool the place down. But especially at night when trying to go to bed, it would be pretty uncomfortable. That was all until I found this solar powered mini split air conditioner and heat pump. This thing is pretty incredible. I've loved absolutely everything about it. I've had zero issues with it at all. So this is the ACDC 18C model, if I remember correctly. It's their 18,000 BTU air conditioner and heat pump from Hotspot Energy. So stick around for this full review of this Hotspot mini split. But ever since I got this installed, we have truly enjoyed the cabin even more. See, because I have a green roof here on the cabin, it tends to get pretty hot because it's kind of a dark green. So it gets the ceiling really hot and there's no attic space to capture all that heat. So that transfers right inside here. And especially when trying to go to bed or lay down on the couch, just trying to relax and watch a movie, pretty much had to have fans blowing on everyone all the time. So that wasn't really ideal. I was looking at mini splits for quite some time, but air conditioning and heat are the two things that use a lot of energy that most people want to run off of a solar generator. And that's a big issue because a solar generator is only capable of using and making so much power. So for example, this 18,000 BTU unit is rated for about a thousand square feet or more. So it's a little overkill for the cabin, but that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to cool it quickly and heat it quickly. Generally speaking, even like a window unit air conditioner of only 5,000 BTUs can use anywhere around a thousand watts to run. Whereas something like a mini split is much more efficient than window units and standalone electric heaters. So this saves a ton of energy. Before you get confused, I do not have this connected to my Titan solar generator. If you haven't watched my other video about the cabin here, how I've got it all set up, I recommend you go check out that video as well. I run this entire cabin off of the Titan solar generator. I've got three batteries on it and I've got almost 4,000 watts of solar panels connected to it. So that way we never run out of power. And that's been pretty awesome. However, I didn't want anyone to accidentally either leave this on or purposely leave it on and drain the batteries all night. Because even though this is a really efficient unit, mini splits will tend to use about 500 watts per hour, depending on the size, how hard you're using it, what setting is it on. There's a lot of different variations, but 500 watts is a generally pretty safe number for something about this size. And if you imagine running 500 watts plus the rest of the cabin on a 6,000 watt hour capacity, well, 500 goes into 6,000 12 times. So that would effectively give me 12 hours of runtime, which really isn't that bad, but that's only accounting for the mini split. And then you factor in the fridge, the lights, other things, it's just not gonna be enough power to get through the whole night. I'd have to expand my battery system even more. The second thing is because this is an 18,000 BTU unit, it uses 240 volt power. And the Titan is only capable of doing 120 volt power. So that's why I went with this Hotspot Energy one. This one, this is a hybrid system, meaning it can use grid power and or solar power. Now, because up here, the closest power line is over five miles away, I have these connected directly to the solar panel. So I've got eight solar panels here on the top of my hill. And then I've got a heavy duty eight gauge wire that runs all the way down from there, about 400, 450 feet, all the way into the outside unit, which is directly mounted outside from where this is above our mudroom. Now, right now I have this on AC turbo mode and you can hear how quiet it is. Essentially, you don't notice it. It's quieter than a fan running and it's definitely cooling this whole place down. So I've got this remote just like any other normal mini split comes with a standard remote. So this makes it really easy to use. I can change the louvers and how they swing up and down left and right. So I can concentrate all of the air to go downstairs or upstairs or mix between the both. So there's nothing really fancy about this, but it's really nice to have this so I can set it up exactly how I want. So the really interesting thing is this color dial right here. So when it's green all the way around and has that green dot in the bottom left, that means it's getting all of its power 100% from the solar panels. And in the bottom right, there will usually be a red squiggly line, meaning it has the option to run off of grid power. 
but because there is no grid power here, there is no red squiggly line. And because this is a hybrid system, I could easily set this up at home to where I have solar panels running this during the day and then grid power or batteries if I had a battery bank big enough to run this at night. So that's one of the things that truly separates this mini split from any other mini split is its hybrid capability. If you're looking for something that you can use normally all the time, just like any other mini split, but then during an emergency, like after a hurricane or a flood or earthquake, whatever it is, if you either need to heat or cool, then this gives you the option to do it completely 100% with solar panels. So this would be a really big deal for someone, for example, in the freeze that happened in Texas earlier February of 2021, and they're having all sorts of problems with it getting below freezing. This is a simple solution. I can use this just like a normal air conditioner during the summer, and then during the winter, use this to heat, so that way I don't have to worry about any of those issues with pipes freezing and stuff like that. So the primary reason why I got this Hotspot Energy Mini Split it was for the air conditioning aspect because during the summer it would just get really really hot in here that mixed with cooking downstairs and the oven and everything like that all of that heat especially wafts up here into the loft and that would make it really uncomfortable so basically this runs all day keeping the inside cool and then at night especially here in the mountains the temperatures drop down quite a bit and so then we have cold inside and cold outside. So nothing about the temperature inside is really going to change unless we're cooking something downstairs. So the only limitation really is that we don't get to run it at night because I don't want to connect it up to any battery system and then have to charge those batteries and have that whole setup. And then the really nice setting is that in the morning, once the sun is up and hitting those panels, it goes right back to the previous setting. So I don't have to worry about if it's winter and I had the heat running, well, in the morning, it's gonna start blowing cold air. So that was one of the other big reasons why I got this system is because I wanted to supplement my gas heat during the winter. Now, last year, I installed a 1,000 gallon propane tank, filled it all the way up to the top, and that was 11 months ago, and I'm only down to 50% right now. Now, usually the tank only gets filled to like 85% or so, so I've only used about 35%, and we ran the heater, the propane gas stove downstairs, we ran that all winter long to keep it warm in here. So that way I wouldn't have to worry about pipes freezing or anything like that. So now I can set this for during the day to keep it nice and warm in here. And then at night use the gas stove to keep everything else warm. So whether it's a bug out location or home or just a fun off grid cabin, something like that, this allows me to save a lot of money on propane, which is gonna help me get my return on my investment a lot faster. So right here are the solar panels that run the mini split. I've got all eight of them. They're connected in series. That's what gives the high enough voltage to run the mini split all the way down to the cabin. Now this stand I put in using the Iron Ridge equipment. I have a whole other video on exactly how I put this in using a three inch galvanized pipe as well as all the Iron Ridge attachments. But these are eight 315 watt panels all connected running that mini split. And this next solar panel array just runs my well. It doesn't run anything else besides the water for the cabin. And then I have another array that just runs the Titan, which runs everything else here at the cabin. Now I am not sponsored in any way, shape or form from Hotspot Energy or anything like that. I paid for everything out of my own pocket. So I would truly appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up, if you found this video helpful. If you wanna see more content like this in the future, make sure you click the subscribe button as well. And you may wanna go check out my other videos to see if there is any other content you may find helpful. But like I said, I'm not sponsored at all. I paid for this unit out of my own pocket, as well as all of the wiring, the solar panels, the rack system, 100% of everything is all out of my own pocket. So it would mean a lot if you subscribed and did like, but only if you think it would be helpful. The biggest thing you could do to help someone is if you know someone who would be interested in something like this, in the fact that it would help them during an emergency or just in everyday life because it is a hybrid system, make sure to send them this video and use the links down below so that way you guys know you're getting the exact right equipment because this is now tested and true and verified and we know works for sure. I like to thank Minuteman Services in Idaho Falls. Not sponsored by them, they didn't give me any discount, but they did a wonderful job installing this for me. I did all of the solar and wiring and everything like that as far as getting it to the outside unit. And then I used them to actually mount this unit because it was a big enough project running 450 feet of cable and setting up the solar panels that I just wanted someone else to do it for me. 
Most of this could be done by yourself. It's really not that complicated to install a mini split system. In fact, one of my upcoming videos is how to install a mini split system into an RV. So you'll wanna make sure you subscribe for a video just like that. But Minuteman Services in Idaho Falls, they were willing to come all the way out here and they did an awesome job. They were unfamiliar with the system because it just used the DC power coming from the solar panels but they were happy to work with me and get it figured out. And it's been an absolute wonderful experience having this and been working with them. I didn't choose them just because they're called Minuteman Services. I actually knew the owner when he worked for a different electrical company. And then he decided to restart up his company again. And it just so happened to be called Minuteman Services. So I was actually using him as my electrician before I knew that his business was called Minuteman Services. He was actually the one that wired my house up so that I can take a solar generator and run my entire house. Again, another video that I will have coming out. So make sure you subscribe for that. So hopefully this was really helpful to you. Make sure you go check out my other videos. Above all else, be prepared and I'll see you guys in the next video.